Hey everyone, it's Pops Reviews, and I'm back with another uh, book here, and this time I'm reviewing the Marvel Encyclopedia, the definitive guide to the characters of the Marvel Universe. So this here is made by DK and associated with Marvel. So as you can see, this is the cover here with the dust jacket on, and this is a Marvel Encyclopedia from uh, 2006. So. I'm going to get to that in just a sec, about 2006. Let me just give you the back here. So this is the Marvel Encyclopedia, the definitive guide to the characters of the Marvel Universe. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, the most comprehensive one-volume A to Z guide the Marvel Universe ever published. The Marvel Encyclopedia contains details, more than a thousand amazing characters, some world-renowned superheroes like Spider-Man and the X-Men, to bizarre and obscure character, uh, beings like Eagle, the Living Planet. Written by a team of Marvel experts and packed with spectacular images by Marvel's greatest artists. The encyclopedia also includes a decade-by-decade -decade history of Marvel Universe highlights illustrated with classic covers. And this is made in 2006. And uh, I believe it, it, the price on this is uh, something like from anywhere from $25 to $30 at, at um, your local bookstore. Now, the reason why you, you're asked, you'd say, why are you, why are you reviewing a book from 2006? Well... This is uh, an encyclopedia, um, so you know, and this there there's been editions to Marvel Universe from 2006 to 2019. But um, what I want to review here is just you know the quality of the book by DK Books here, and you know this is something that if you wanted a recent version or a, a previous version like what I have here, um, then you know maybe you might take interest in it, or you know you think oh well. Maybe I, this is not for me, and this might have piqued your interest before, but you decide, ah, eh, not for me. So, this is the dust jacket on the inside, a picture of Hulk and Elektra and um, Ant-Man. And then you see the cover here, is just like the dust jacket. And let me just take off the rest of it here. So, back is the same, and then you have a picture on the inside dust jacket of Juggernaut, Doc Ock. Uh, looks like Venom's arm here and Mystique and then the book is the same as a dust jacket so, so now you open up the inside here and so you get a nice picture of different heroes and villains and uh, what I really liked about these en this encyclopedia so it has the contents listing from A to Z, obviously. And uh, it kind of tells you the pages of where A goes from. So from A to 20, um, 8 to 25 will be A, B is from 26 to 47. And then they have little um, inserts from different eras of Marvel from the 60s, the 70s, uh, 80s, and 90s. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of cool. So if you're looking up for a certain character, in, uh, in alphabetical order you can kind of go by from the pages here and they kind of tell you where to look from um, so yeah what I like about so it starts with let's start with the first character so this is a contributor page and introduction by Stan Lee the duly departed Stan Lee and then you start with the abomination so he's the first character that you start with here so you got the abomination and then you got uh, characters like Adversary, um, Agamemnon, the sorcerer guy. Um, so what's cool about these, they give you like a tidbit about them. Um, they're, gives you like, so the list here, the Abomination. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, let's go to Absorbing Man, probably less glare. So there's Absorbing Man. So give you a picture of Absorbing Man fighting uh, Captain America here. And then it gives you a little uh, description of Absorbing Man's body. You can even duplicate the unknown alloy of Captain America's shield. It's a pretty uh, formidable foe. And what I like about these, they give you like, you know, here's his real name. Um, here's, uh, he does his occupation, criminal, I guess, obviously. His base, uh, height, weight, eyes, hair. Uh, first appearance, so if you're looking for to try and get a book where his first appearance is, it tells you, Journey into Mystery, number 114, in March 1965. 
and it tells you his powers. Can magically duplicate within himself the physical and mystical properties of anything he physically contacts, including various forms of energy. If his body is broken into pieces while he is in a non-human state, he can mentally reassemble it. So, yeah, I then they give you a write-up of, of him, a uh, brief write-up. So what I like about these encyclopedias is that, you know, like, if you're looking for certain characters, then, you know, you have... Um, they have good little write-ups on them, and I know it's easy to just go on your phone and look up a character now through Wikipedia and whatnot, but, um, I mean, these books, they have, like, beautiful, beautiful art. Like, look at, look at Archangel here. Um, and then they have, a lot of it, they have a lot of the, uh, what do you call it, um, this character, obscure characters that you would never know of, so... Uh, for instance, uh, if I was watching um, the Netflix runs, uh, you know, say for instance, um, they had the Purple Man. So let's look at Purple Man. She, he was in uh, Jessica Jones. So if I didn't know much about the Purple Man, I could go in this book and look him up. There's Misty Knight. She's in uh, the, um, what do you call it, the Iron, uh, Iron Power Man, Iron, uh, Luke Cage series. But yeah, sorry, we're going off track here. There's, look at it. The art is just beautiful in this book here. I'm um, looking up the Purple Man. So, you know, he goes. So let's see if we can find Purple Man if he's here. And then you can read up, uh, you know, about that character and what he does if you're not familiar with him. So, there he is Purple Man. This was uh, Jessica Jones' adversary in season one of Jessica Jones on Netflix. And it gives you his name and his occupation and just a, a little write-up on the Purple Man. You see a picture of him. So, again, it's a, it's a great book. If you're looking for the different heroes, little stories, what their powers are, and just little write-ups and beautiful illustrations. And I would think from... <coughs> excuse me, from... 2006, 2019, there's not too many new characters. I mean, there's probably going to be some odd ones. And then obviously, you know, they'll probably uh, add more storylines that have happened into the newer versions of these uh, DK encyclopedia books. But um, for the most part, I mean, <laughs> excuse me, I'm happy with what I have here. Would I need a future one? Unless I was like super interested in the, um, in the stories that are taking place right now, I've... I don't have personally any interest in them, but um, for me to have this book, uh, I like having this book to know that I could just go and uh, look up a character and see what they're all about. And um, yeah, it's so in that way, it's good. I mean, like I said, it's easy to just look on your phone nowadays, but for me, I, I prefer having a book on hand and I like reading. Uh, I like reading pages, not just off my uh, phone or computer or whatnot. So um, so yeah, this is a really good book. The uh, binding holds nice and the pages feel nice and it's a nice hardcover and you know, there's plenty of characters in here. It's a good oversized uh, book. It's a good weight to it. Um, as you can see, this is like 268. How many pages are in this book? Uh, I saw at the beginning, but so there's like 300 and 351 pages here of uh characters so yeah very very good book and like i said uh, nothing nothing bad about it um probably missing like i said obviously this is a 2006 book so this is missing uh probably some odd characters here and there but for the most part you know the classic characters that you know are all here in this book your origin stories haven't changed so and like I said, they even give you essential storylines if you're like, say, there's Ultron. So if you want to, if you're like, oh, what is Ultron really in? You have to have essential storylines here that you could read that uh, he was in, a part of. So, yeah, a uh, very good book. And I highly recommend if you're a Marvel fan to look up these DK encyclopedia books. They are very uh, helpful reference to the different uh, characters of the Marvel Universe. So, um, yeah, so that's that's it for my review on this book very very good and um yeah so check out uh any of my other um videos that i've made and uh 
I appreciate uh, you guys subscribing to me and uh, the comments you make. And um, yeah, I just uh, just thankful for being able to do these videos and help anyone out that uh, is ever interested in these these uh, things that I'm interested in. I just I feel like um, I could help somebody uh, make a purchase or even not make a purchase if you're not if you feel like this wasn't for you. So uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching and. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So thanks again and hopefully see you in the next video.